premier, a dedicated diocesan priest, commenced preaching parish missions in 1821, inspiring many diocesan priests to join in this noble endeavor. Father Mermier and his companions resided at the major seminary of Annecy. However, Father Mermier perceived the necessity for a house of their own to fully live their religious and community life. He acquired a house in La Roche where they celebrated Holy Eucharist and engaged in community prayer. It is recorded that each evening after supper they came together for recreation, sharing moments of cheer and joyful laughter. They eagerly returned to their communities after conducting mission preaching and parish retreats. The establishment of the first house at La Fillette in 1837 further intensified their community life. Upon making their first profession on October 24, 1838, Father Marmir declared, I desired only one thing, and I asked it of the Lord, that is, to be able to live as brothers in a religious community. He further emphasized, what is of utmost importance is the spirit of rule, self-renunciation, the sacrifice of our ease and comforts to become all to all, everywhere, always, in the least things, charity and gentleness towards our neighbor are the fruits of our love of God. Father Mermia said that the Holy Trinity is the foundation of our community life. God is communion. He comes to us as a community, as Father, Son and Holy Spirit. For Father Mermia, community is a place of theophany. It is a place where we see God in our fellow confreres. Our community life manifests that we are individuals who love God and are capable of loving and sustaining each other, accepting one another's gifts and limitations, sharing joys and sorrows despite differences in age, race, language, nationality, culture, temperament, and ministerial competence. Community life demands love, forgiveness, patience, mutual self-giving. It contributes to growth in holiness. Community life fosters our consecrated life and it is in community that we can fully realize the evangelical counsels. Father Mermia stands as our model and guide in fostering our community life. He invites us to die to ourselves so that we can give our life to our community members. May God grant us through the intercession of Father Peter Mermia sufficient grace and strength to nurture our community life. Live Jesus.